Welcome back to Half Moon's Picks. Week 15 is here and week 14 is in the books. Uh, just some quick NFL news. Uh, the NFL uh, released a memo saying everybody has to get the booster shot. All uh, team members, players, coaches, GM, staff, everybody. Uh, or they'll be considered not vaccinated by December, I think it was December 24th or 27th, I think, something like that, right after Christmas. Ex-NFL wide receiver Josh Bellamy gets three years in prison as, after falsifying PPP COVID relief 19 funds uh, over $24 million. I have to say, what do you think you're going to get away with that? Unbelievable. Uh, the playoff picture emerges more. Now uh, there's uh, three AFC. C teams all nine and four at New England, Tennessee, and Kansas City, and three NFC teams all ten and three Green Bay, Tampa Bay, and Arizona. Uh, so expect them to do well. I mean, those are the top tier six right now, so I expect them to do well. And for our Week 14 winner, our and ATS leader uh, bounced back. He's 13 and one last week, at 101 points overall in the whole season. He is. 120 and 86. Congratulations. Uh, our leaderboard is Tucato. He just t overtook uh, Moby Polito. First time uh, in a long time. Uh, Tucato is 115 and 91 at 963 points. Congratulations. That was like a, what, a $300 move right there. As for me, I'm still around 30th place. I have been there for the last uh, handful of weeks. Uh, but my my best bets went 3-0. and And my... Teasers went 4-0, and my under and overs on Twitter went 2-0-1. That gives me 9-0-1. Excellent week. I doubled my bankroll easily. I should just put it all on and pay off the house. But it is what it is. I did an excellent week. Uh, I already bet early on my best bets this week, so I suggest to do that like the Lions. I had, I had, I had Denver... Uh, was it minus seven and plus on a teaser minus one and, and they just blew lines out that was like one of my biggest huge bet i had last week so i expect that i do hopefully as good as i did last week so stay tuned and let's get on with the picks For Thursday Night Football, we got the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the Los Angeles Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers are a four-point home dog. Kansas City, 9-4 record, 3-2 on the road, 6-7 ATS is a favorite, and 3-2 ATS is a road favorite. Uh, the Chargers, right behind them, second place, 8-5 at record, 4-3 at home, 3-1 ATS at, as a dog, and has never been a home dog this year, so this is the first time. So three and one ATS is a dog outright. So uh, earlier they played as uh, uh, is 30 to 24 in Kansas City. Um, last year uh, it went into overtime 23-20. So uh, these two teams usually keep it pretty close. Uh, Kansas City is on a six game win streak and the Chargers on a two game win streak. But it seems like Chargers win every other week, but they have the one uh, last two. I expect it to be close. Three, four, and seven key numbers of a one score game. Here I'm getting three into four. So give me the LA Chargers plus four. Next, we got our first Saturday game of the season. We got the Las Vegas Chargers traveling to the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns are a six point home favorite. Uh, Vegas Raiders are on slump. They are six and seven uh, record, the three and three on the road, four and four ATS is a dog, and three and two ATS is a road dog. Cleveland, like kind of a slump themselves. They are seven and six uh, record. They're tied for second in their division. Five and two at home. Two and five ATS is a favorite, and two and five is a home favorite. Yeah, this game's kind of ugly. It's kind of a six-point lead. You know, I, I don't know what to make of the uh, Vegas Raiders. You know, they, they they lost the last five out of six games. You know, but the one game they did win, they just blew up. You know, so. I don't expect them to blow up anymore. You know, I think they're pretty much laying it down for the rest of the season. Uh, Vegas Raiders, they are second in passing, uh, as, uh, but they're, you know, 31st in uh, points against per game. So, that, you know, it's easy to score on them. Uh, give me the home team minus six. I'll take the Cleveland Browns 
minus six. Next, our second Saturday game, we got the New England Patriots traveling to the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts are a two-point home favorite. New England, uh, seven-game win streak. Amazing. They're nine and four record, six and zero oh on the road, three and one ATS as a dog, and two and zero oh ATS as a road dog. Indianapolis Colts, seven and six record, second place in their division, three and four at home, three and two ATS as a favorite, and two and two as a home favorite. I'm riding New England uh, this this game, and uh, like every game, uh, they're coming off a bye uh, and a win. Both teams are actually coming off a bye on this game. But New England, until you know, someone beats them, you know, they're on that seven game winning streak and six game uh, win streak on the road. Plus I'm getting two points, so give me New England plus two. Next we go to Sunday, we got the Carolina Panthers traveling to the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills are 11 point home favorite. Carolina, Cam Newton, five and eight on uh, record, three and three on the road, three and three ATS is a dog and two and one ATS is a road dog. Uh, against Buffalo, you know, they, they seems to be terrorizing bad teams and, and uh, you know, hard and struggling against good teams. Uh, they are 7-6 record, second in their division underneath New England. 3-3 three and three at home, 5-5-1 five five ATS uh, as a favorite. 2-3-1 and one ATS as a home favorite. Like I said, they're destroying bad teams. Uh, uh, like they beat Miami twice by 35, by 15, Washington by 22, Houston by 40. Uh, the New York Jets by 28 and uh, New Orleans by 25. Uh, the only one that's a bad team that they, you know, didn't destroy was Jacksonville. But, you know, I think they destroyed uh, Carolina as they are definitely a bad team with the losing record. So give me Buffalo minus 11. Next, we got the Arizona Cardinals traveling the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions are a 14 point <laughs> home dog. Oh my goodness. Arizona, 10-3 uh, record, 7-0 on the road, so they're definitely going to win. 4-4, uh, four four, ATS is a favorite, 2-0, uh, ATS is a road favorite. So they're the only team better, ATS as a road favorite, is Dallas. Um, so Detroit won 11-1 record, uh, they're last place in their division, 1-5 at home, 8-5 as ATS uh, as a dog, 4-2 ATS as a, a home dog. Uh, if Arizona plays this game and plays it, you know, uh, on the ground and not slinging everywhere, I think they'll absolutely de destroy the Lions on this game. Uh, Arizona scored an average of 16 points over opponents on the road. Here it is, 14 points. So give me the Arizona Cardinals minus 14. Next, we got the New York Jets traveling to the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins are an eight and a half point home favorite. New York Jets, they're 3-10 record, 1-5 on the road, 3-10 as ATS is a dog, and 1-4 ATS is a road dog. Uh, they lost bad the last two weeks. Uh, they lost 33-18 and 30-9. Uh, uh, my goodness, they're just getting destroyed. Here's Miami, 6-7 record, 4-3 at uh, home, 3-4 ATS is a favorite, 2-1 ATS is a home favorite. Uh, Eight and a half points, though. That's a lot for a divisional game. But Jets haven't showed me much of anything. Uh, Miami did win uh, in New York by seven points, 24 to 17. Uh, and they're coming off a bye. So give me the Miami Dolphins minus eight and a half. Next, we got the Dallas Cowboys traveling to the New York Giants. The New York Giants are a ten and a half point home dog. Dallas, nine and four record, first in their division, five and two on the road, seven and two ATS is a favorite. 3-0 ATS is a road favorite, best in the NFL. Uh, Giants, not looking good at all. 4-9 uh, record, fourth last in their division, 3-3 three three at home, 6-6 six six is ATS is a dog, and 3-2 three and two ATS is a home dog. Dallas Cowboys, uh, last three of their four games are against divisional uh, rivals, so if they you know do great against there, they're in the division, they already, uh, you know, get first seat they just knock out everybody in their division and they you know have home throughout the playoffs uh, that's what I'm thinking they're thinking um, New York Giants uh, they have 19 players on IR so yeah they're hurt pretty bad uh, the Giants got destroyed pretty much the last two weeks against Miami and the Chargers so give me the Dallas Cowboys minus 10 and a half Next, we got the Washington football team traveling to Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles are a five-point home favorite. Uh, Philadelphia off a bye, off a win, Washington off a loss. 
Um, Washington six and seven record, three and three on the road, four and six ATS is a dog, and two and three ATS is a road dog. Uh, both these two teams are six and seven that tied for second place. Philadelphia is one and four at home, three and one ATS is a favorite, and one and zero oh, ATS is a home favorite. Uh, like I said, Philadelphia's off a of bye. Uh, Jalen Hurts uh, should play this game. Washington has 13 players on IR. Um, I'm going Philadelphia at home, uh, minus five. Uh, I don't put any money on this game. So give me Philadelphia, minus five. Next, we got the Tennessee Titans traveling to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers are a two point home dog. Tennessee, nine and four record. Uh, top of the best team in the AFC, or tied for it. Uh, first place in their division, four and two on the road. Three and four, ATS is a favorite, and one and one, ATS is a road favorite. Pittsburgh, 6-6-1 six, six, record, uh, last place in their division, 4-2-1 at home, 5-3 uh, and three as an ATS dog, and 2-0 and oh, ATS as a home dog. And that ties the NFL uh, as the best uh, home dog record. Pittsburgh has won the last three meetings against Tennessee. I remember that uh, one game in Tennessee was came in strong. Pittsburgh always has Tennessee number. I don't know why. When Tennessee's favorite, they don't do as well as, as So give me, on this game, I like Pittsburgh at home, so give me those two points. Next, we got the Houston Texans traveling to Jacksonville Jaguars. The Houston Texans are a three-point road dog. Yeah, beautiful. Both teams are two and 11, both tied in last place. Who can you know do better? This is a, a draft pick game, the toilet bowl. So uh, Houston, one and five on the road, five and seven ATS as a dog, two and four ATS as a road dog. Jacksonville, two and five at home. Owen one is a ATS favorite. <laughs> I guess they were favorited one before another game. I uh, never been a home favorite uh, this year. Jacksonville is 31st in yards per game. Uh, they're on a five-game losing tear, as Houston's on a three-game losing tear. Uh, in and uh, week one, Houston did win 37 to 21. Uh, Houston's the 32nd yards per game. Yeah, Jacksonville 31st yards per game. Yeah. Uh, this game, you know, don't bet, don't watch. Uh, give me the points. A divisional game. So give me Houston. Uh, yet again, Houston has won me money because I stopped betting on him weeks ago. So give me Houston plus three. Next, we got the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos are a one and a half point home favorite. Cincinnati, 7-6 record, tied second in their division with Cleveland. 4-2 on the road, 3-3 three three ATS is a dog, 2-1 ATS is a road dog. Denver, 7-6 record is their third place in their division. 4-3 uh, at home, 5-3 ATS is a favorite, and 3-2 ATS is a home favorite. Um, better quarterback in this game, Joe Burrow over Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, not much to say, it's pretty much a pick em game. I'm going to do up, do down. Cincinnati lost last week. Denver won. Um, you know, what can you say? So give me Cincinnati. I, I would put Cincinnati on the money line. So give me Cincinnati on the money line. Next, we got the Atlanta Falcons traveling to San Francisco 49ers. San Francisco 49ers are a eight and a half point home favorite. Uh, Atlanta six and seven record, five and two on the road, three and five ATS is a dog, three and two ATS is a road dog. Uh, San Francisco 7-6 record, 2-4 uh, at home, 5-6 ATS is a favorite, and 1-4 and as a home favorite. Um, Atlanta has not beaten a team with a winning record, plain as day. Uh, last time Atlanta was on back-to-back -back games, uh, they beat New Orleans the first game and lost to Dallas 43-3 in the second game. So I think San Francisco will pretty much blow them out, so give me... San Francisco, minus eight and a half. Next, we got the Seattle Seahawks traveling to Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams are a seven point home favorite. Seattle, five and eight record. Uh, last in the division, uh, three and four on the road. Four and two ATS is a dog. Two and one ATS is a road dog. The Rams, nine and four record. Four and two at home. Four and seven ATS is a favorite. Two, three ATS is a home favorite. Uh, the Rams did win in uh, Seattle earlier this year, 26-17. Uh, uh, Rams seventh ranked offense. They are third in sacks at 36 and sixth in INTs at 14. 
Uh, here's Seattle, our 26th ranked offense and 32nd ranked defense. So give me the LA Rams, minus seven. Next we got the Green Bay Packers traveling the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens are a four and a half point home dog. Green Bay, 10 and three record, number one in the division, number one in the NFL, uh, four and three on the road, uh, seven and two ATS as a favorite. That's uh, first uh, tied with Dallas as the best ATS favorite. Uh, two and one ATS on the, as a road favorite. This is a non-conference game. Baltimore eight and five on the road, first in their division. Five and one at home, three and O ATS as a dog, and one and O ATS as a home dog. Uh, pretty much Baltimore's offense is struggling. Uh, Lamar Jackson said they should start, uh, if not Tyler Huntley. Uh, he, he played pretty good last week. I think he played actually better than Lamar. But uh, I know Lamar Jackson's ankles hurt, but they're going to try to get him to play. Uh, but the Baltimore is just too beat up. They have 15 players on IR. As for Green Bay, they're pretty healthy. So give me Green Bay minus four and a half. Next, we got the Sunday Night Football. We got the New Orleans Saints traveling to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a 10 and a half point home favorite. New Orleans, six and seven on uh, record, four and three on the road, four and three ATS is a dog, and two and one ATS is a road dog. Uh, New Orleans pretty much uh, swept the Bucks last year in regular season. That's with Drew Brees. Uh, and they did win earlier this season, 36 to 27 in New Orleans. So the last three uh, regular season games, New Orleans has won. Uh, seems to be uh, Tom Brady and the Bucks, you know, uh, uh, you know, jinx team, I should say. Uh, Tampa Bay, 10 and three record, uh, first in the division, six and zero oh at home, uh, seven and six ATS is a favorite, and five and one ATS is a home favorite. Uh, Tampa Bay is on a four-game win streak. Uh, it's a divisional game. Uh, New Orleans is on back-to-back -back road games. I know 10 and a half points is you know pretty high, especially for a divisional game. And they do have trouble with the Saints, but give me Tampa Bay minus 10 and a half. And last but not least, we got the Monday Night Football. We got the Minnesota Vikings traveling to the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears are a three and a half point home dog. Minnesota six and seven record, two and five on the road. Uh, two and four ATS is a favorite and one and two ATS is a road favorite. Chicago four and nine, uh, third in the division. Uh, the Vikings are second in the division. Chicago is two and four at home. Two and eight is a as uh, a dog. That's twenty percent. And zero and four ATS is a, a home dog. That's zero percent. Uh, they're last in the NFL on that stat. Uh, but you know Minnesota and Chicago always put, plays close games. You know that never fails. Um, the last ten games uh, uh, by Minnesota have been by one score or less. You know three and a half points is one score. So. Uh, Kirk Cousins is one and nine uh, record against uh, you know, on Monday Night Football, and the last and that one win was in Chicago Week Ten last year, where there's no you know crowd at all, nothing you know complete silence you know easier to think no pressure, uh, and they won by 19 to 13, so yeah by you know, six points, uh, but uh, Chicago has won the last five of six uh, meetings. Uh, and won 16 of the last 20 games at home. So give me Chicago at home plus three and a half. Well, that about wraps things up. Like I said, I did a tear last week on my best bets and my teasers. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. It's Half Moon Er, the number two over on Twitter, uh, where I give my best unders and overs, usually on like Friday or Saturday night, something like that. Um, so my best bets this week, I got, which I already played, you know, I already played these games. So I got New England plus two, I got Green Bay Packers minus four and a half, and the LA Rams minus seven. Those are my three best bets. And for my 14 teaser, I'm going with the LA Chargers plus 10, the New England Patriots plus eight, Cincinnati Bengals plus seven and a half, and the Chicago Bears plus nine and a half. That brings up two scores since Minnesota hasn't won a two-score game in over 10 games. That's a shoe-in. Uh, and I wish the best for everybody this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Peace.